All right, Dini, I got a question for you here. Okay. Do you know what weighs as much as a Toyota Corolla? It spins at thousands of RPM. And could one Utah hopes one day live in your backyard and change the energy equation for the entire planet? Sounds like it could solve all our problems. <laughs> yes, it does. Over the last 100 years, there's been a 100x growth in energy demand. But if you look at the next 100 years, it'll be a 1,000x growth. That's mostly driven by the electrification of HVAC, EVs, and the advent of AI. The mission of our company is to empower individuals and communities to become their own renewable energy provider. Imagine a small, silent machine the size of an air conditioner sitting in your backyard. It hums quietly night and day, never stopping, and it powers your entire house without ever burning fuel. Sounds like science fiction, right? But what if it's real, and the world's most powerful forces are desperate to keep it secret? Today we pull back the curtain on a flywheel free energy generator, a technology that NASA has explored, China is deploying, and a rebel company named Taurus claims can bring boundless, pollution-free power straight to your home. This isn't just a neat idea, it's a potential revolution for clean energy. So ask yourself, why is nobody talking about this? Why do governments and big oil act like this breakthrough should never see the light of day? Fasten your seatbelts. This is the story of hidden science, global intrigue, and a secret energy that could reshape our world. Since the Industrial Revolution, we've been taught that energy costs money. Whether from oil wells, coal mines, or solar panels, we pay bills to heat our homes and fuel our cars and we hear in the news that the world might soon run out of cheap energy. But what if everything we think we know about energy is wrong? Picture a future where every home and car runs on a little machine that draws power from nowhere, or rather, everywhere. It's sort of like a pottery wheel uh, where a potter would uh, use the wheel, put energy in it by kicking it, and then as it spins, energy is coming out as he works. A device that keeps spinning and generating electricity without fuel, pollution, or limit. A free, abundant source of power, day in and day out, for every family on Earth. It sounds impossible, but clues point to just such a technology. An advanced flywheel generator that could yield virtually unlimited energy. Deep in NASA labs, top secret research centers, and even remote facilities in China, engineers have quietly experimented with flywheels, heavy wheels that spin at lightning speeds as alternatives to batteries. A modern flywheel in the right setup can store energy with almost zero loss and release it as electricity whenever needed. In theory, one could spin it up and let it run for years, delivering steady power. It shouldn't be this easy, except that some insiders claim it actually works. For decades, inventors have whispered about over-unity generators, meaning they output more energy than they seem to consume, and magnetic motors that tap into a hidden field of power. Mainstream science scoffs at such claims, but other proof exists. NASA has built what it calls a mechanical battery and China has built a 30 megawatt flywheel power plant. Even a Silicon area startup named Taurus says it has a mini power plant for homes. Why would these serious players invest if it were all nonsense? The answer some say is that truth itself is being suppressed. Think of it like a flywheel on steroids. These NASA flywheels have lifetimes of over 15 years and tens of thousands of cycles. They've even been combined with satellite attitude control systems. The same spinning motion that stores power also helps point spacecraft, cutting weight and complexity. So if NASA of all places takes flywheels seriously, why did the news barely mention it? Here's one theory. In space, it's about reliability, not free energy. But on Earth, that spin could power homes, cars, maybe even entire cities. And that changes the game. 
What if NASA's research could be adapted for everyday use? That's the secret no one's shouting from the rooftops. Ask yourself, if NASA built this for satellites, do you think they also tested full-scale generators on Earth? Which are their secret experiments funded by classified budgets? Rumors float that, hidden in a few quiet labs, NASA's tech maybe does more than just store solar energy for astronauts. Some say they discovered ways to make the flywheel add up net power, but their managers told them to keep quiet. The official line might never say free energy, but we're left wondering if someone in Houston is smiling as the real news stays buried. Meanwhile, across the Pacific, another player is stepping into the ring. In September 2024, headlines announced that China has just connected the world's largest flywheel energy storage plant to its grid. It's a 30 megawatt installation in Shanxi province, made of 120 giant magnetic levitation flywheels spinning at incredibly high speeds. They call it flywheel storage, but if you look deeper, this is a bold move. Think about it. 120 huge rotors, each spinning in a vacuum chamber underground, weighing tons connected to the power lines. On paper, it's a grid stabilizer, helping balance solar and wind power. But experts wonder, why would China invest so heavily in this if it were only for minor grid smoothing? Some conspiracy-minded engineers whisper that the Chinese government sees this as just the public project, a cover for their real goal, which could be a much bigger free energy device. They're practicing with 30 megawatts on the official books while secretly working on something that could dwarf any battery farm. Contrast that with what's happening in the West. In the US, small groups of enthusiasts talk about flywheel generators in hushed tones. Universities have lab models but so far nothing like a 30 megawatt installation. Some people wonder, did Chinese spies grab stolen designs from secret labs? Or do they have an advantage because they're willing to fund crazy research that US corporations won't touch? What's eerily similar is that in both NASA and China's cases, official reports never call this free energy. It's always energy storage or grid tech. If either government told the truth that they're testing a near constant power source, it would trigger alarm bells in all the oil companies and politics worlds. So they quietly build these test beds and the public gets only half the story. Enter Taurus, the startup and its mysterious mini power plant. On the surface, Taurus looks like any modern energy startup. It makes equipment for microgrids and energy storage. Their website touts a unit about the size of an air conditioner that lets homes become their own little power plants. But if you scratch the surface, you find whispers and hints of something radical. Taurus CEO Nate Walkingshaw even bragged in a blog that their mini plant is dead silent and never stops pumping out the kilowatt hours. Those aren't the words a mere battery company uses. Their write-up reads like sci-fi. No need for solar, wind, or hydropower, though it's ready to harness all three right out of the box. In plain English, this box keeps your house powered virtually non-stop, no fuel required. Imagine hearing that from a government scientist or a YouTube pseudoscience channel, a small device that charges itself and powers you indefinitely. Yet Taurus says it in a corporate newsletter as if it's normal. They got selected for Time Magazine's Best Inventions of 2024 list for their flywheel system, which means the mainstream thought it was just a clever storage hack, not a world-changing bombshell. But Taurus isn't outselling it in Home Depot. Instead, they pitch it to businesses and utilities under the guise of peak shaving and emergency backup. The curious part is, Taurus CEO seems genuinely excited by something he calls a revolution. On LinkedIn and tech podcasts, he hints that every home could be its own mini power plant, and they're building it. Why the secrecy? Why not just shout from the rooftops that any family could end their electricity bills forever? 
it gets more intriguing. In small private demos, company engineers reportedly showed how a prototype unit ran for months while a load meter stayed nearly zero. That's the math-defying part. It was supplying energy but drawing barely any from the grid. In one anecdote, widely repeated on forums, a Taurus unit powered a house for weeks during a cloudy winter, far exceeding its official battery capacity. When pressed, Taurus execs claim it's no battery cheat, it's physics. Let's break down what these devices actually are in simple terms. Underneath the marketing hype, a Taurus-like generator is essentially a heavy flywheel, rotor. Imagine a heavy metal disc or ring inside a box spinning really fast, tens of thousands of revolutions per minute. Magnetic bearings. The rotor floats on powerful magnets so it barely touches anything. This means almost no friction. Once spinning, it doesn't slow down quickly. Vacuum chamber. Often the whole flywheel sits in a vacuum, so air doesn't slow it either. Motor generator electronics. There's a motor generator attached. Electricity can be fed in to spin up the wheel. And conversely, when the wheel is spinning, it can turn the generator to produce electricity out. Power control unit. Smart circuits manage all this, directing energy flow in and out like a charge controller in a solar system. Altogether, it's like a car engine that keeps spinning forever, but the fuel is the initial electricity that got it going. In practice, no real device generates more energy than it consumes. That would break physics. But get this, these inventors claim they've found ways to come very, very close. They use ultra strong magnets and precision controls so that if you feed in a little energy to start, you can draw out nearly the same amount again and again with minimal additional input. To be clear, mainstream engineers will raise an eyebrow. The laws of thermodynamics say you can't create energy from nothing. And yet builders of these flywheel systems argue that almost no energy is lost in the process. Spin it up and with magnetic levitation and perfect conditions, it can coast nearly indefinitely supplying power to your house with only occasional nudges to keep it going. It's like if you pushed your bicycle once and it rode itself around the block over and over without slowing. That's hard to swallow, but it's what the claims are.